The ETFs you need to watch today. It's ETF Edge. Hey, Bob. Hello, Scott. Good to see you. Direct indexing is attracting attention as a new form of investing. When you own an S&P 500 ETF, you have indirect ownership of the stocks in that index. You can't vote in shareholder meetings, nor can you buy or sell the underlying stocks. With direct indexing, you own the stocks in the index directly. You can customize it any way you want. You can put and own Apple, but not own Exxon, for example. And you can do tax loss harvesting, selling the losers and using the loss to reduce your tax liability. Should you consider dumping your boring indexed ETF and do direct indexing? Let's talk with Patrick O'Shaughnessy of O'Shaughnessy Asset Management, Dave Nautic, Director of Research at ETF Trends. Patrick, explain how this works to me. You can essentially slice and dice the S&P 500 or any other index any way you want, correct? Yeah, Bob, you sort of started the explanation in a nice way. Imagine you had an ETF provider designing an ETF just for you. That's sort of a convenient way to think about this, sort of the unbundling of the ETF. So rather than own it indirectly, you have a brokerage account that someone trades and helps you manage according to your index rules. It could be at Schwab or at Fidelity. And it's built for, your, for, for you, for your circumstances, for your preferences. That unlocks things like tax loss harvesting. It unlocks things like, for example, in my custom index, I don't own capital market stock because I have plenty of exposure to that in my career. I don't need more risk in that bucket. It unlocks things like adjusting for ESG. And what we're finding is that when we give people these tools in a custom index platform or a direct index platform, about 80% of them completely customize their strategy. So I think this is where the world is going. Technology allows this to happen. Better to own the stocks directly and unlock the benefits of doing so versus own them indirectly through an ETF. Dave, this sounds great. And it, to me, it sounds like investors can essentially now design their own ETFs, the Bob ETF, for example. But it, what problem is it actually solving? What, what are we doing with this? Well, you mentioned a few things like ESG and tax loss harvesting can obviously be very important to some people. The big killer app here, though, for a lot of wealthier investors has been just straight up position management. If you work for Google, you probably have a lot of Google exposure in your career and in your portfolio. Being able to get it out of your larger position, like your index position, is a huge benefit. Most firms don't have the ability to let you short their stock, for instance, to neutralize that exposure. So executives managing large positions, that's really the killer app here. Yeah. OK, much more on direct indexing with Patrick and Dave on ETF Edge at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Important thing here, we're going to also talk about some other things with Dave, Gary Gensler and his opinions on Bitcoin ETF. We'll get Dave's take on that and why he thinks Gensler is now against the Bitcoin ETF. That's ETFedge.cnbc.com.